Where are you heading? Araville. I'm heading there. Thank you very much. Hold it. I said, I'm heading there. You want in, you pay for it. Ten dollars. But you just said you were going there anyway. Nothing's free in this world, pal. Ten dollars. Kindness is. What? Kindness is free. What world are you living in? Truck. What is it now? Hey. Got a problem? No. I got my head under here to keep the sun off my bald spot. Hey, you want me to take a look? I think I know a little more than you do about my own truck. Take a look. Can't hurt anything. All right, all right. Go ahead. All right, give it a try. Uh. You have a nice day. And you still want that ride, get in. Thanks for your kindness. My name's Clyde. Jonathan. You a mechanic? I have been. You sure have a way with machinery. Uh, just a gift, I guess. You can make a lot of money per hour with a gift like that. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Well, where, where are you heading? Town. Havencrest Hall. The old folks' place? Yeah. Oh, uh, you got a relative there? No, no, just some old friends. Well, I'll drop you off there. Well, I want you to have to go out of your way. I said I'd drop you off, didn't I? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much. Hey. Yeah. Thanks for the truck. Uh, truck's like anything else. You treat it nice, it'll treat you nice. I'll be seeing you again, Clyde. You'll have to notify the Dieter family. 
I can't keep the old man here after the end of the week unless they're payments in my office by then. But they said that the checks were late this month, and as soon as... Miss Gordon, I'm aware of what they said. I'm trying to run a business. That's what I was hired for, and... May I help you? Excuse me, I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. I... I came about that job you advertised in the newspaper. Gardening and general maintenance. That advertisement? That wasn't supposed to be in the paper until tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I, I know. I found out about it at the newspaper office. I figure the early bird catches the worm. Quite true, Mr. Uh... Jonathan Smith. <laughs> no jokes about the name. Jokes? Yeah, you know, uh, John Smith, Jane Doe. Ah, yes, I see. We'll need some references, of course. Yeah, well, that'll take me a little while to round up. I'm from back east. Well, you can't expect me to hire you without references. Did your last man have references? Of course. Well, where's he? What? The last man. Where's, where's he now? I fired him. What for? Because he was lazy. He wouldn't work. Just goes to show references don't mean everything. <laughs> Mr. Smith, I don't believe this conversation's getting us anywhere. Our policy is... Well, I'm willing to work the first month without any pay. If you like my work after that, I go on salary. You're willing to work the month without pay? That's right. If I don't do the job, you just say adios. Don't lose a thing. All right. I'll give it a try. Thank you, sir. Miss Gordon, would you show Smith where the utility room is? Yes, sir. Oh, Smith. Yes, sir. I have a full inventory of everything in the utility room. Every item is listed. Gotcha. Such a nice day. How come everybody's inside? Well, they rarely go out unless a relative comes. That's not very often for many. Never for some. What do they do all day? They sit. Hey, what about the staff? Do they plan any activities for them? Outings or anything? Mr. Hoskins' policy doesn't call for that. He feels that it's our job to provide food and lodging, not entertainment. I'm not sure this is the right key. How do you feel about the policy? Well, I, I only work here. I'll have to get another key. Here, let me try. Hard to believe. A hundred years ago, people didn't need locks, except in prison. Times change. No, no, people change. We stop trusting each other. I'm sure that you'll find everything that you need. Leslie? Yes? Is it all right if I call you then? Yes. I have to find a place to live. I wonder if you had any suggestions. Well, there's some vacancies in the building where I live. They're not fancy apartments, but it's walking distance. Well, that sounds just fine. If I could walk over there with you after work, I'd appreciate it. All right. All right, I'll see you then. How did you know that my name was Leslie? Oh, when Mr. Haskins introduced us. I'll see you after work. Excuse me. I'm here to check your swamp cooler. Who are you? Jonathan, new maintenance man. Well, good. They finally found a cute one. Come on in. It's over there. Thank you. It's not going to work. The other fella tried. Of course, he was dumb as a milk cow. Oh, just take a look. That cooler just about like most of the people here. Too old to work right. Yeah. Sometimes the old ones are better, more dependable. Yeah. Get away from that door. Go on, shoo. You pervert. Shoo, go on. Shoo. Did you see that man? He's always peeking at me. Well, maybe he likes you. Oh, go on. He can't be a day under 80. I don't want some old man peeking at me. Is that why you stay in your room all the time? Well, it won't be for long. I'm not regular here, you know. My daughter and her husband are coming back from Europe in a few weeks, and I'm going to live with them. That'll be nice. 
The rest of the old biddies are down the hall watching soap opera. What's the matter? Don't you like the soaps? I don't like it when I have to watch with them. They're all half deaf, and they shout at each other through the whole show. What'd he say? What'd she say? Meantime, nobody can hear a blasted thing. Oh, Miss Maddie. That's my roommate. Hi, Miss Maddie. You have to shout. She hasn't heard anything since World War I. Miss Maddie, anybody die on General Hospital today? Somebody went to the hospital and died? What, what room were they in? No, not here. On TV. Who died? They died on their TV? Just fell over on it dead? <gasps> no, woman. On the soap opera. Who died on the soap opera? Oh, oh, oh no, nobody. No. <laughs> you see what I mean? There's nothing worse than living in a place with a lot of old folks. I don't know. I think old folks are pretty lucky. How so? Well, a lot of people don't live long enough to get old. It's your fed all fixed. Do you have any more trouble with it? Just let me know. Nice to meet you, Miss Maddie. Nice to meet you. You heard him. Well, of course I heard him. I'm not deaf. But why do I have to shout at you all the time? You don't have to. I never ask you to. You're just like everybody else. If you get old, people just shout at you. My daughter doesn't shout at me. Of course not. She doesn't even talk to you. She's in Europe, I told you. Yeah. Suit yourself. I'm going to have my lunch. She'll be taking me out of here the minute she gets back. She wouldn't let me stay in a place like this. Go on. Go and eat with them. Spilling their food, clicking their false teeth. Go on. Go and eat with them. You belong with them. Thank you. There's nothing like some flowers to brighten up a place. How did you get this all done so quickly? I like doing it. Makes it easy. Guess I got a green thumb. Oh, it's uh, it's five o'clock. You said you wanted to look at the apartment house. Oh, yeah. If you give me a minute, I'll put the tools away and wash up. Certainly. Hey. Yes, sir. What's this all about? What, sir? The flowers. There's nothing on your worksheet about flowers. I just thought the yard could use a little color. I'd appreciate your doing the work you're supposed to do. I did that. All of it? Yeah, you can check if you like. Regardless, there's no money in our budget for flowers. Oh, no, these didn't cost anything. They were free from a friend of mine. All of this? Yeah, as much as we need. One thing my friend's got is lots of flowers. Why, well, uh, I gotta run. Waste of time. When the place is sold, it'll be torn down anyway. Oh, no. What's the matter? Mrs. Goody won't be back until 6. That's all right. It's only half an hour. I'll just wait right here. All right. I hope it works out for you. I'm sure it will. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Would you like to wait at my place? Oh, that'd be nice if it's not too much trouble. No, not at all. Well, thank you. The other apartments are the same as this one, size-wise, except this is a two-bedroom. I live with my brother. Hey, it really is a nice size. Yes. It's one of the advantages of an older building. Mark, I didn't know you were home. Now you know. Mark, this is Jonathan Smith. How are you? Great. Just great. Would you like something to drink? 
We're out of beer. I'm fine. I'm not thirsty. Thank you. you. Surprised to see me home? Yes. I got fired. Oh, no. Television stinks. Gotta play football games during the week for the unemployed. Look, I think I'd better wait outside for Mrs. Goody just in case she comes home early. All right. Thanks very much for everything. What happened this time? Who cares? I care. Well, I don't. I don't care! I mean, I was not head of General Motors or something. I had a stinking job, and I will find another stinking job. Will you be home for supper? No. Well, I have to know whether to cook for two or not. <laughs> How you doing, neighbor? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to startle you. It's so late. I didn't expect anyone to be up. Well, I don't sleep much. You're worrying about your brother. I saw him when he left. It's the same thing over and over. Every time he gets a job, he promises it'll be different, but it never is. I don't know why I even bothered to ask him what happened this time. He was fired for fighting, for hitting someone, for God knows what reason. Has he always been like that? No, not in the beginning. He was a policeman in Oakland for almost 15 years. He really loved that job. But then, he started to change. He, he seemed to become filled with anger. His superiors warned him about it, but it didn't do any good. He was finally suspended for what they called excessive use of force. That's when he came to live with me. How long has he been with you? Almost five years. But he hasn't changed during that time? No. Except that now he drinks a lot when he's upset. That's why I'm so worried now. He's gone to Rex's again to get drunk. The last time this happened, he ran into a parked car on his way home. I'm sorry. I'm sure you don't need to hear all my troubles. Oh, come on, don't be sorry. Oh, well, what's the old saying? What are friends for? I know, but... We're strangers. Oh, because people choose to be. And some people choose to be friends, and some people choose to be strangers. I'd rather be a friend. Me too. Look, I'm going downtown anyway. I'll step into Rex's and see how your brother's doing. That's very kind. But he's been drinking, and I wouldn't want you to. Oh, good. First you're worried about your brother, now you're worried about me. Maybe you ought to spend a little time worrying about yourself. I'll see to it your brother gets home, all right? Good night, Leslie. Good Sister told me. Oh, that's where this is about. 
My little sister is worried about me. Yeah, she is. I'm worried about you. Are you worried about me, too? You or anybody you happen to hit on the way home. Well, I don't need your concern. Now, like I said, I like to drink alone. What are you, you deaf? Sit here, you sit here. What do I care? What is it you're after? Are you trying to make out with my sister? No. Uh, I don't think so. Nobody tries to make out with my sister. You know, I've been... I've been living with her for five years. All of that time, She's never had a day. Not one. She sits home every night, reads a book. She's smart. She's smart. You, you know why she's never had a date? I'll tell you why she's never had a date. Because she's plain. Plain and smart. And guys don't like girls are smart. They like girls that are pretty. Well, maybe some men can see better than I can think. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's why I stay with her. So she won't be alone. The world stinks. And if we make it stink. Ah, it stinks. It stinks. I was a cop, I know. You know what it's like being a cop? Being a cop is like spending your life watching the six o'clock news. Killing, stealing. And there ain't a thing you can do about it. Nothing. Except turn off the set. You could try changing it. Listen, I am going to have me some more to drink, and I'm going to have some fun. I want you to just go on home. Oh, darling, darling, I never thought you'd Keep that. mind, I'm with someone. Well, of course you are. You look silly out here dancing all by yourself. <laughs> if you're looking for trouble, beaver face, you found us. Well, as I live and breathe, it isn't Roy Rogers. So I was just having a little dance with Dale here. Look, I apologize for my friend. He's had a little too much to drink. He didn't mean anything. Then let him apologize. For what, Hopalong? All right, that's it. Hold on. Let's take it outside, boys. You're right, Kimo Sabe. Come on outside. I'll show you how the West was won. You sit down, Hunter. I'll be right back. Yeah, he's right, Dale. You just sit there and wait. I'll be right back.
Good morning. Good morning. How do you like it? What? Our new bicycles. Our bicycles? Yeah. I thought it'd be a lot more fun to ride to work than walk. You know, get a little cool air in your face, wakes you up in the morning. Well, I, I couldn't. I haven't ridden a bicycle in a, since I was a little girl. Come on, riding a bicycle is just like, like swimming. You never forget how to do it. No, I couldn't really. Where did you get them? Oh, a friend of mine gave them to me. Where do you get all these friends? You've only just come to town. I guess I have a way with people. Now, come on, man up. Really, I can't. I mean, aren't we a little too old to be riding bikes to work? Leslie, being afraid has nothing to do with being too old. I'm not afraid. Then get on your bike. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> but you'll see. All right, I'll see. You lead the way. <laughs> Go! that fast as the old witch rode off with Toto. <laughs> I forgot how much fun it was. I know. Hey, now, I like that dress. Which one? Uh, the blue one right there. Now, that looks like a dress, not like those things you see in Vogue magazine with the great big shoulders and the pizza pie hats. <laughs> oh, you look great in that dress. Me? Oh, yeah. Of course, what do men know about women's clothes, huh? Well, we better get going. The last one there is a rotten egg. Right. <laughs> Look at those flowers. Yeah, pretty, aren't they? They're beautiful. But look at the size of them. I mean, yesterday they were... I just can't believe it. Yeah, well, it must be that chemical I mixed with the soil. What on earth did you use? I don't remember the name of it. Miss Gordon, it's five after nine. Coming, Mr. Haskins. I better get to work, too. I'll see you at lunch. different. It's a waste of time. They're selling this place. A big machine will come here and take everything. At least I didn't know that. How long has it been for sale? About a year. Well, if it's been one year, maybe it'll be another year. Come on, there's no use worrying about something that's gonna happen. I give up. The man is a philosopher. <laughs> no, not quite. I'll tell you one thing, though. I wish I had a hand with this place. It takes an awful lot of time to keep flower beds looking the way they should. I know. I had a garden myself. You're kidding. You wouldn't have time to give me a hand out here, would you? Time? That's all we've got here is time. Maybe some of the others would like to help. You want me to ask them? Hey, I'd appreciate it. I've got plenty of tools for everybody. All right, Mr. Philosopher. I'll ask. Thank you, sir. Miss Gordon. Where is everyone? What do you mean? The rooms are empty. All of them? Practically. Well, I don't know. I've been in the kitchen for the last two hours. The ovens are on the blink again. Never mind that now. Let's find them. 
What's going on? Beautiful, isn't it now? Smith? Smith? Yes, sir. I'd like to speak to you. That's looking real good, Miss Betty. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. What's this all about? What are these people doing out here? It's a little gardening. Smith, we're dealing with old people here. I mean, I know that, sir. Then why are you allowing them to do this? Because they wanted to. What they want and what's best for them are two different things. What were you thinking of? Putting shears into the hands of a woman like Miss Maddie. Well, well, it's too hard for her to dig with that walker. And suppose she injures herself. We'd have a lawsuit in our hands. Or didn't you think about that? But she's doing fine, sir. They all are. If you don't mind my saying so, Mr. Haskins, I don't think you give these old people enough credit. They're bored. Besides, I need help in the garden. I think he's right, Mr. Haskins. What did you say? I think he's right. They need to get out and do something. It doesn't take up any of the staff's time. What harm does it do? All right. But if anything happens, it'll be your responsibility. And yours. What about the ovens? Give them cold cuts. Try and get someone here today. I don't believe I did that. What? I spoke up to Mr. Haskins. Yeah, and he listened. Hey, you say the ovens are out. Oh, yes. They should be replaced, but they won't spend the money. I'll tell you what, why don't I barbecue some hamburgers and hot dogs out here? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. Hey, anybody here want to have a picnic? What are you talking? A barbecue, hot dogs and hamburgers. Did you hear that? A picnic! <laughs> well, you, you mean we can eat out here? You're darn right you can. <laughs> What would you like, Loretta? I'd like one of each, if it's all right. Oh, sure, we got plenty. Are you sure, Loretta? That's an awful lot to be putting in your stomach. Oh, I can eat every bite. I don't know when I've been so hungry. It will hurt me, Miss Gordon. I'm very regular, you know. I know. Here you go, Loretta. <laughs> Thank you. She usually eats like a bird. Well, nothing like a little exercise to pick up your appetite. There's nothing like feeling needed, you mean. The garden was a wonderful idea. Yeah, well, they are needed. I couldn't keep it up without them. I have a feeling you could do anything if you wanted to. Oh, come on, don't I wish. And <laughs> hey, where'd Sidney go? I got his burger ready the way he wants it, burn at the stake. I think he decided to try and lure Estelle out here. I'm afraid he's hopelessly in love. Hey, well, good for Sid. How would you like a burnt burger? Sure. It's not going to do him any good, you know. I've tried and tried with Estelle. She hasn't left that room since she's been here. Never underestimate the power of love. Is there any left? Uh, well, sure, Doc. What's your pleasure? <laughs> anything. It's all so good. All right. How about a little bit of anything coming up? <laughs> Get out. Thank you. I don't mind if I do. I would like to be left alone. Well, you are alone. And you will be again in a second. I just wanted to bring you some flowers and tell you the food is very good outside. So? So here. So over here, it won't be a total loss. I'll leave them. Me?
Mrs. Weeks Estelle, I know now the difference between Jews and Gentiles. Gentiles are rude. And I love you. So, have a good day. What's wrong with you, Mr. Gold? What? What do you mean? I mean... What do you mean by coming into my room, a perfect stranger? Thank you. For what? For saying I'm a perfect anything. From you. That's a compliment. Well, it wasn't meant to be. You're just a senile old man coming in here telling me you love me. I don't know you and you don't know me and I'd like to keep it that way. So, as I said, I'd like to be left alone. Your wish is my command, Mrs. Wicks Estelle. But let me tell you something. Old I am. When you consider the alternative to being old, it ain't so bad. But senile, I'm not. Know you, I do, better than you do. And you don't want to be alone. And I love you. So, have a good day. Mrs. Wicks Estelle. Let me ask you something. Don't you think it's just a little strange that people just give him things? I mean, why him? I drove by Havencrest today. Do you have any idea what those plants would cost? What about the bicycles? Those are not throwaways, you know. And a barbecue today. Where do you get the money for all that food? Did you ask him about that? Yes. I felt very bad that he paid for it. What did he say? He said not to worry about it. Yeah. Well, I don't know too many independently wealthy maintenance men in this world. I don't trust them. The trouble with you is you don't trust anybody. If you've seen what I have seen in my life, you wouldn't either. I don't want to argue, Mark. Not today. I'm going to ask him to dinner tomorrow night, and I'd appreciate it if you'd go out. That's great. I can't even be in my own apartment when he comes. I'm a grown woman. I'd like some privacy. Well, you want some privacy? You got privacy, all you want. One hundred people surveyed, top six answers on the board. You gotta try and get the most popular answer here. Look at here, here, look at here. Put more dirt. Yeah, I know, but put more dirt around it. Stel, could I talk to you for a minute? Of course. Come on in. Thank you. Now, I've got a favor to ask of you. If you say no, I'll understand. Well, tell me what it is first. All right. I found a puppy. And the darn thing is just so cute, I can't get rid of him. But my problem is, he cries like crazy when he's alone. Now, he's fine during the day, because I'm with him. But at night, it just isn't going to work. I mean, you know the way a landlord is. One neighbor complains, and I have to get rid of him. So what I wondered was, could you see your way clear to taking care of him for me during the day? You know, feed him a little bit, take him for a walk. Oh, I don't know. You know, my daughter's coming back from her trip soon. Oh, no, 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 I understand that. But I figure in two weeks, he'll grow up a little bit and he won't be so scared. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know who else to ask. I, 
I have to have somebody I can trust with a puppy, and you're the only one here I can trust. I, I got him right here. I got some cans of dog food and a leash, too. Come on. Come on, fella. Oh, look at that. Cute, huh? Oh, 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 look at the size of him. He isn't as big as a minute. I don't think he's going to get too big. Here, take a look how small those paws are. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> what do you say? What, will you watch him for me? Well, as long as I can. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> well, I better get back to work. Oh, I already fed him this morning, but I didn't take him for a walk. I wouldn't want him to mess up in the room. Oh, he won't. Oh, and I haven't named him yet, so if you want to pick one, go ahead. Well, he's your dog. I know, but I'm not very good at names. See what you come up with. I'll see you later. Look at you. Look at you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My goodness. Oh. about a hand cannon, it's just a pellet gun. Yeah, I know, but look at the workmanship on it. You can't find that kind of workmanship yeah, I'll these tell you, days. The price is just a little too high. Right. Yeah, I'll be right with you, sir. Uh, no hurry. Yeah, look, 55 bucks, you can't beat the price. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you $50 for it, bottom line. No, I can't do that. Sir. Well, it's been here for two or three weeks. It'll probably still be here two or three weeks from now. Could be. Yes, may I help you, sir? Yeah, a mutual friend suggested I come see you about a bike. Oh, that's nice. Who's that? Jonathan Smith. Jonathan Smith? The name doesn't ring any bells. Well, he must be a friend. You gave him two bikes free of charge. <laughs> free of charge? Look, I don't know what this is about, but we don't give away bikes. Here. No, I'm not looking for a freebie. You don't know this, Jonathan? No, I don't, but we can give you just as good a deal as anybody in town. We got more to choose from. Yeah, thanks. I'll be back. Say, uh, you haven't had a couple of bikes stolen the last couple of days, have you? No, why? I just wondered. Thanks. 